Jack here, JDM Car and Motorcycle, and this is our 1992 Mazda Brawny motorhome. It's the based off of the Brawny slash Bongo wagon, the van that Mazda makes. It's the same chassis but converted into a camper. And this one does have a fiberglass shell, which is pretty nice. Overall, this one looks really good on the exterior. Uh, it's four-wheel drive. This one is a naturally aspirated diesel. Get a view of the back here. Everything's intact. This one we've been using as a little bit of a mobile office just because it is so good. Got all your vents for the stove and heaters over here. Overall, this thing is in great shape. There's just a small dent right there in the front. Nothing major. Wheels look really good. Tires are all brand new at all four corners, including the spare, actually. This one has very low mileage at 49,000 kilometers, or around 30,000 miles. Let's see if we can go ahead and start it up. Starts right up, and the backup camera does work. It's a bit of a weird glare with my phone camera, but you can see it works really well. It's got aftermarket stereo up front and matching stereo in the rear. It's a five speed manual. There's your transfer case for the four low and four high. You have room for three passengers here in the front. Third seatbelt in the center here. Got a couple of speakers right above your head up here. And then there's your access to the back. Runs very smoothly. This is a non-turbo engine, so it's not the fastest, but it is more simple. Shut it off so it doesn't just sit in idle. And then moving around to the back here, steps in good shape. We've got some protective carpeting put down to keep everything in good shape. But then up here you have your above the cab sleeping space and you also have this drape for privacy in the back. Windows are in good shape up here. They all have intact screens. Everything looks really good around the corners there isn't any water damage or anything it's got your curtain to close off this area matching on the outside so yeah overall up here everything looks to be in great shape that's kind of the theme around this one everything works very well i mean with such a low mileage camper that is expected and then in here it's acting as just a closet right now, but originally it would have been a bathroom. We just have some blankets and things in here. But this would have been a bathroom space from the factory it was. The previous owner in Japan must have removed that. And back around here we have the rear stereo as well as the controls for the diesel heater. It does have a diesel heater as opposed to a propane heater. It also has new vents on the top. Here's all your electrical controls up here. They are labeled. And up here, you can take this little guy off. But this is your rear air conditioning that also works. AC works all around in this one. And then underneath the seats here, down in here is your house battery. I've got this cushion out of the way and you can see there are actually dual house batteries in here and they're both brand new. Replaced those when we got it. So everything in the back part of the camper is linked up to these. All right, now I've disassembled the other side and you can see in here we have a brand new water pump for the sink and also the bathroom that's been, dis been 
uninstalled. You also have your diesel heater right here. It's that black cylinder. You got your vent on the outside right there. It's all very simple. That very back cushion there is the inverter. I'm not gonna uncover it, but it does work and it all looks pretty good. You can see photos on our website. Down here you have a couple of ashtrays filled with random little things, but no smell or anything. They're both pretty empty when we got it. Uh, here's your sink with the drain plug. And then your cooktop. Both of these work really well. They're all very clean. You also have a refrigerator down here. I believe this one is actually full of food just because I like to have lunch here. And sometimes office space is cramped, so migrate to the camper. Got your window here. It's a nice kind of center space for cooking and getting a view out the side depending on where you park it. Got a couple of plants in there. But yeah, overall everything looks to be in great shape. There's a slight warped area there in the ceiling, but besides that, it's got a new vent right here as well. The ceiling is very much intact. Overall, this thing is in incredible shape. You have an extra space right there, it's just storage. Um, you do need a small Allen wrench to unlock that. Then you've got your plug for your inverter in there, as well as your water tank filler hole right there. This is your propane storage, and I can show that. It's got a brand new US propane tank. All your vents on this side and your diesel fill holes right there. And yeah, this one is a North Life Outdoor Life Creator camper. This thing is all ready to go on its next adventure. Just needs a good home to go to.